All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's weekly cryptic crossword. This is usually uh, noticeably easier than the daily cryptic. This week it's set by Pascal. Let's see what they have for us. Uh, part of Molly's plan, a delightful walk by the seaside. Well, that name Molly, especially with the IE spelling, should immediately make us a little bit uh, suspicious. Either we need those letters for an anagram, or in this case it's a hidden clue, it's part of Molly's plan A Delightful, and we have Esplanade, which for some reason, I'm sure there's some historical reason, is often given to the um, seaside main drag in British seaside towns, the Esplanade. Uh, I wonder, could they have used it if they could have used any name, really, that ended in E? Could have been Anne with an E, Anne's plan. Anyway, maybe there is a famous person called Molly. Uh, yeah, let me pause and look that up. No, I don't see anyone famous called Molly. I thought maybe there was an architect by that name. If you understand why the name Molly was used there, uh, answers on a postcard, please. Let's try mail to consume pork. Well, mail is often M. To consume would be to eat. And the reason for the question mark in this case, sometimes it means there's a very loose definition given, maybe something playful or punning. In this case, I think it's just because pork is merely one example of a meat. How about work? Not I, terrible, choice. Well, work again in crosswords is often OOP for opus. And then not I, terrible, suggests we anagram not I. And we get uh, option, which is a choice. European club joined by two men. I'm immediately thinking, well, the definition is unlikely to be two men. And we see joined by two men suggests wordplay. So I think it's going to be a European. So some nationality where A is the second letter. And running through my brain, trying to think of what that could be. No, I'm not uh, thinking of anything at all. I think the club could be a J, a Q, or a K. Oh, no, no, that's a, a card, a playing card, a club. What would a club be? Oh, it could be iron, wood, some kind of a golf club, maybe. And then two men might be two men's names in order. Oh, I can definitely think it might end in Ian, like Estonian, Latvian. Uh, but why can I not think of a European nationality? No, I'm going to need some more letters for that one. Well, let's try food taking time to mature uh, might mean food and maybe the T for time and then a four letter word for mature or could it be a type of food and we take away a T and we get to mature and think of a few words, uh, twine, twirl, third, thing, but nothing for food or mature. All right, how about skin problem? 
Phone America. Oh, I think it's a callus. Well, I think, yeah, I think when it's a, some hardened skin, I think it's just spelt like that without an O, as opposed to somebody who is described as callous. Phone is call, America is US. Now we have fabled lad playing with energy. Well, playing can indicate we anagram the letters and we need a total of nine. Fabled plus lad equals nine. And it has two L's. So I think it's going to mean with energy. Ooh, is that going to be a type of energy as in hydroelectric or nuclear? Or it could be a musical direction to play with energy. Hmm, we're going to have two Ds, an F, and a B. So that should be a pretty easy one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write those letters down on a piece of paper, and I write them uh, very higgledy-piggledy, do them in a jumble, and then try and spot the anagram from that. No, I'm not seeing... Any likely anagrams of fabled lad? Ah, so... Ah, so I think it's actually going to be lad anagrammed with energy. Ah, yes, of course. And now I, as soon as I see that, I see the anagram is legendary. Yeah, so I was just uh, misled by the same length of fabled and energy. All right, well, uh, once I realigned myself, that was pretty easy. Get me to grab rotten fruit. Um, get me to grab rotten. And it's maybe a fruit. Is it me to grab? That is anagrammed. Hmm. But it can't be, uh, if it is a fruit, it can't be too many that are in that pattern. But I'm not seeing it, so I'll move on. Duck enclosure not shut up. Well, a duck in cricket or other sports can be a zero or an O, and an enclosure for pigs, for example, would be a pen, and together it means not shut up. A quiet relation, that's obvious. Well, when we see the word A in a clue, it can sometimes literally be A, and quiet in musical notation is P for piano. A relation could be a parent, and then a parent is obvious. How about stuff hanging on wall? It is the norm around gym. Well, the first thing I think of is especially with these letters P something P, hanging on wall could be paper, as in wallpaper, but it is the norm around gym. I'm just wondering if maybe it's a word that if you put G-Y-M inside it, it means the norm. Hmm, not getting that. Let's try eight down. Attempt to carry a carrier. Well, here's another example of where the a is going to be important. Our eyes generally just 
you know, glide over that word. But in these cryptic crosswords, you have to study every single word. So an obvious synonym for attempt would be to try. And if it carries the letter A, then we have tray, which is also a carrier. Well, I think this must be paper. What else could it be? Piper? Yeah, I think it's paper. I won't check it yet. It is the norm around. Well, backwards, we have REP, rep. Isn't that what, when you do a workout, you do so many reps, but then AP, I don't. I don't get that. It is the norm around gym. No. No, not seeing it. All right, let's go back to the acrosses. Uh, in dances, one finds beat disappears. I think it's going to mean disappears. We're going to have a type of dance in the plural. And inside it, we're going to put beat. Now, I think it's going to be a, a word for beat as in to um, overcome your opponent. Yeah, it could be a, the other, could it be beat as in strike? It could be a musical beat. Um, so let's try and think about what kind of dances, tangos, no, maybe I should think about what other synonyms there are for disappears, well, vanishes, but that's too short. No, let's try uh, 13 down. Oh, potato. I love my potatoes. Maybe in container here when peeled. Well, peeling could be removing the outer letters from a word. Here, when peeled, could be just ER. Oh, yes, a potato is a tuber, and so the container is a tub. And then we have here that has been peeled, and we get our tuber. All right, so now our disappears. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, tangos. What other dances could it be? Uh, or maybe it's a double definition, or maybe I should say a definition and a charade. Because uh, maybe tangos with an E, um, I can see that something goes. One finds beat. Ah, yes, so if you tan somebody's hide, you beat them. So it is just really a definition and then a charade of words. All right. Still, uh, this European is uh, bothering me. Um, oh, no, why can I not think of that nationality. No, uh, let's try. Bishop has ambition, not half, to be in children's film. Well, Bishop is often B from chess notation. I'm enjoying the uh, candidates tournament on at the moment in Toronto. 
And then ambition, but not half. We just get half of ambition, ambi, and then we get Bambi. Quite a uh, tragic film. Uh, squat as one blocking street. Ah, so I think um, street is often ST. And if one blocks it or goes inside it, you get sit, and so I suppose to squat can be the same, roughly speaking, as to sit. Some occupation that may be outside the house. Oh, that's a funny one. I presume it's going to be an occupation like a baker or a accountant, something like that. And maybe it just sounds like it's outside the house. No, not seeing it. Came down reportedly and acted as monarch. Okay, I think this one is fairly simple, especially with the R and the N there. It's going to be a homophone for of the verb to if something came down and then it the actual word means acted as the monarch well if you were the monarch you reigned which sounds like r-a-i-n-e-d let's carry on sweet uh, desert animal carrying artist i think this one again is fairly straightforward uh, the sweet is the uh, definition a desert animal can only be a camel but it is carrying an artist and there is the royal academy of artists in britain and so an artist will often have ra after their name and then the rest of uh, camel gives us caramel all right worker who may shift stock I think this may just be a cryptic definition. There's no wordplay in it. I think it's just trying to make us think of someone in a warehouse, for example, or in a, a shop who's shifting stock around. But I think it's the type of stock you would find on a farm or a ranch. So maybe ranch hand. I think we're going to need some letters for that. Directive establishing borders with borders disappearing. Ah. So I think the definition is going to be a directive, which, well, the, yeah, the obvious synonym is an order. And as soon as I say that, I realize... If you take the edges off the word borders, you're just left with the order. So I think once you sort of free up your mind to think in that way about these clues of just trying to think of another word for a directive and then make the connections with the words you already have, uh, that one then is fairly straightforward. Observe, home, being surrounded by that river. So I think it's going to be a specific river. Again, you know, thinking of a common synonym for to observe, I would think of to see. And very often in the crosswords, home, the uh, synonym for that is in, because if you're at home, then you are in. You know, someone calls at the door and says, is Pat in? Uh, and that would give you the same. A bishop in the country telling a story. Well, I wonder if bishop is going to be B again. And we're going to have A, B. Put inside the name of a country... And that is going to mean telling a story. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, tricky. Oh, I think in this case, actually, it's not going to be B for bishop. It's some other letters that I believe do can mean a bishop. I think they can mean another clergyman as well. Here, I was just trying to think of synonyms for telling a story. The first thing I thought of was narrating, but it occurred to me it would be hard to get the ing ending in a country name. So then I went to narration and I realized, oh, you have nation around the outside. So it's not a specific country. It's just country in general. And within nation, we have a RR, and I think that stands for Right Reverend, uh, which would be, I suppose, the uh, honorific for a bishop. All right, that's once through all the uh, crosses. Let's try the downs. Let me just look at my get me, or it might just be get, and me to grab rotten fruit no I'm still not seeing it no nope. all right unlikely pair solemn and distant huh what is is the uh Maybe the definition is unlikely. Just looking at the ending of the word. I think it might be O-L-A-R, O-R-A-L. Um, solemn. Solemn and distant, while they sort of go together as adjectives, they're really not close enough. It's not a, a well-known phrase, solemn and distant. So I think we're going to have a word for solemn and then a word for distant. Now, the obvious word for distant would be far, but that would be a very unlikely ending for a word. I think O-F-A-R, um, unless it's something like R-O-O. F-A-R? No, I don't think that's likely either. So that's another word for distant. Um, cold, maybe. Polar. Unlikely pair. Is there a word that means an unlikely pair? No, I think I can just think of maybe a phrase that might do it. All right, how about second implement found in seat? Well, second can be abbreviated to S. There's an obvious four letter word for an implement, which would be tool. And together we get a stool. So just like sit, it's not exactly a seat, but it's close enough. Oh, so now so, oh, some occupation. Ah, it's not a, an occupation at all. Some is telling us we're going to use some of the following letters in order. And it's something that may be outside the house. Hidden within occupation is a patio. All right. That gives us a nice P there. Ah. Oh. Just trying to think of something like opposites attract, upper, upper something. No. Nope. Uh, let's keep going. Assert, chief, ain't wicked. Well, they would not normally use a slang word like ain't, so that has to be there for a um, for some specific reason. And I think ain't is going to be wicked, or uh, we're going to 
mess around with the letters in ink to nanogram it. And then the obvious ending using those letters would be Tain, I suppose it could have been T-I-A-N as well. And then the chief as an adjective could be the main. So to assert, <coughs> excuse me, something is to maintain that. All right, our stock shifter now is something, something T. Not what I was expecting. All right. Deposit, dispatched, small amount of money enclosed. Well, I think just the way I looked at that, I thought, oh, deposit might be the definition. I think mainly because I saw it began with S and there was an N at the end. When I saw dispatched, I immediately thought of sent, S-E-N-T, and that there would be other stuff put inside it. And sure enough, we get small amount of money enclosed. Well, I think the small amount of money in this case is a dime. And... Uh, what we're left with then is sediment, which is deposit at the uh, bottom of a liquid, I suppose. HQ, maybe, in decent region. So we have in, um, and when we see maybe like this, I think we're thinking it, this may be the headquarters, and so that could be the definition. Uh, that's how it's certainly read to me. But we're going to find that in decent region, and so this is another hidden clue. I know from watching uh, Cracking the Cryptic, there's only ever one hidden clue in the Times crossword, but the Guardian will often have two or even more in one crossword. So if we start with the C of decent, we get the center in the British spelling, which may be the headquarters. Ah, so now I think it's going to be a something man. A cattle man, perhaps? Is that a word? Well, there certainly is a great steakhouse in Fort Worth, Texas, if you ever find yourself in Fort Worth. The uh, Cattlemen's, uh, highly recommended. Although I think maybe it's gone down a little since I first started going to it, <laughs> low these many years. But uh, they do a very good steak there. All right. Hurled bits finally eaten by pet. I'm thinking it's going to be hurled and bits finally is the final letter of bits which is an s and that's going to be eaten by or put inside a type of pet well in this case it's simply a cat and so we have cast now biographies not very short stories well i'm I'm mainly thinking stories, I think it's a very British thing to say, especially to a child, are you telling stories as a euphemism for are you telling lies? I don't remember us using that word for lies in Ireland growing up, and I don't think I've heard it in the US, but I may be mistaken. But now, how do we get the wordplay? Biographies? Nah, not very uh, short. So a short version of very is V. Biographies are lives of somebody or people. We take out the V and we're left with the lies. All right. Offensive position. Ah. I think this has to be a double definition with just two words. What is offensive? Oh, um, rank, yes. 
So something can be rank, or its position could be rank. Which I've always wondered, why does, did the Smiths call their live album rank? I've never understood that. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, I skipped over 23 down. Mum. Well, it's because the answer starts with an M. I immediately think this is the beginning of the wordplay because it would be very nice if that was ma. On new diet. So we only have four letters left and we have a D and an I. So the obvious thing is we're going to anagram uh, diet and it's going to mean achieved the desired result and that would be made it. All right, um, our unlikely pair, solemn and distant. Oh, I'm wondering if, um, since pair has four letters and solemn has six, and the letters we have are P, R, O, and A, and they're all in pair and solemn, might it be an anagram? Unlikely, could unlikely be telling us to anagram those letters? And it's going to mean distant. Well, let's try the anagram helper. Uh, sepermonal, no. Oh, how about impersonal? Yes. Oh, that was actually quite a well-disguised anagram, I thought. But uh, I'm sure many of you will have spotted that immediately. Just I don't think I've seen unlikely before telling me to anagram the letters. But I can certainly see how that works. All right. Um, where to now? Uh, let me pause and just think about European nationalities. Oh, I'll also think about what a club could be. I'm thinking of something like a bat or a um, bar, something like that. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. Ah, no wonder I couldn't think of it um, quickly. It was not a nation when I was growing up. But now we have uh, Macedonian is a European. The club is a mace and the two men are Don and Ian. So now our food taking time to mature. Yeah. What would the second letter be? An H, an R, a vowel. Oh, um, oh, mature as an adjective. I did not think of that. But if something is mature, it is ripe. T for time, and we get tripe which um, is not food in, uh, in my book. In my book, tripe is something you throw away. Uh, but I'm sure some people love it. That's what makes the world go round. All right, now get me to grab rotten fruit. Uh, I presume this is going to be an N. Could be an R. I think other could be another G, but yeah, I think I like the N. Get me to grab rotten fruit. No, not seeing it. Let me uh, pause and think about that. Well, I had to resort to wordplays.com, um, and so it's an anagram of me to grab and it's bergamo bergamot which i know is a type of tea but what exactly is uh, bergamot 
Uh, let me pause and look that up. Oh, it's a bitter, inedible citrus fruit that's used to flavor tea. I did not know that. Yeah, I would always see references to bergamot. Um, do you pronounce the tea or not? But anyway, uh, so now I know it's a fruit. All right, would never have thought of that. Oh, I don't think I ever looked at this one. Girls and men said to be bad. Now that sounds like a homophone for the last part. Men said to be bad. After the girls part, though, I can think of maidens. Oh, it's not a homophone. It is an anagram of men said. Ah, simple as that. All right, took me a little bit longer than usual for the uh, cryptic. Yeah, sometimes they, they can be a little bit more difficult than others, but at least I finished. Let's check all. Confirm, yeah. Um, yeah it looks like everything is still there. All right, well, that was uh, fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching, and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead.